13 days ago, I had made a video on a beautiful alternative of private GBT called Bionic GBT. It's a game changer as it brings in more versatility as well as many other capabilities in terms of chatting with your files, documents, and notes privately. Now today, I bring forth another better alternative to private GPT and that is called Anything LLM. It's a private chat GPT to chat with practically with anything that you want. It's an efficient, customizable, and open source enterprise ready document chatbot solution. The thing with Anything LLM is that it's way more easier to use than Bionic GPT and you are given way more flexibility in terms with functionalities as well as with tools that you can work with. It gives you unlimited different types of LLMs, whether that's open source or closed source. It's completely open sourced and lets you work with embedders as well as vector databases. You're also given the ability to chat with unlimited documents, messages, and concurrent users with perm management throughout their application. There just seems to be a lot more flexibility in my opinion, and I actually used it so I can vouch for it. Now throughout today's video, I'll be showcasing the capabilities of anything LLM further, showcase how you can install it, and basically just go over some of the tools. So with that thought guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. If you would like to access our private discord where you can access subscriptions to AI tools for free, get networking opportunities, collaboration, daily AI news, you have various different AI topics being discussed on the discord, as well as a lot of support, definitely take a look at the Patreon link in the description below. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to take a look at anything LLM. This is basically a 2.0 version of private GPT as well as a bionic GPT. It's a full stack application that serves as a powerful tool that empowers you to basically transform any sort of document, file, resource, or content piece into contextual reference, which is usable by any sort of large language model. Now, this is completely private and secured, and this application provides you with the flexibility to select and integrate specific large language models, vector databases, based off the preference and requirements that are needed. Now, a key feature of this application is that it supports for multi-user management as well as permissions. This is something that we saw with Bionic GPT, but it's something that we can't actually see with private GPT. You're allowed to efficiently handle multiple different types of participants within anything LLM. And this allows for you to basically collaborate on different uses of the application while maintaining control over access as well as interactions. This is not only something that enhances the application's usability in a shared environment, but also ensures that you're also able to tailor their experiences as well as basically making sure that you accommodate to your individual's needs. Now, this is something that we're going to take a look at as you go further into the video, showcase some of the demos as well as showcase how you can install it. Now, one thing to note is that this is something that they have developed to be cloud hosted through their own platform. But the thing is, is that it's actually a paid subscription to use your cloud platform, whereas you can just use the open source uh, framework that lets you run it on your own host. This is completely free. so. Just note that this is open source, but if you're going to be using their online services, it, you're going to need to pay, I think, around $25 a month to actually access the cloud hosting. In my opinion, it's if you have the computer and if you have the hardware requirements, you should just completely use it off your local host as it's completely free and you get the same sort of features that you do through the cloud hosting. Now, what we're going to do next is take a look at some of the features. Now I'll leave this link in the description below so that you can get all the relevant information that is needed for anything LLM. But let's just move on and take a look at some of the amazing features of anything LLM. As you mentioned with the different types of closed source and open source LLMs, you're basically allowed the flexibility to utilize a variety of different large language models. Whereas the other ones, other types of private GPT alternatives we mentioned on this channel do not have the same sort of capability of doing this. 
you're allowed to generate different types of chatbots as well as work with different types of LMs with anything LM, whether that's OpenAI, Microsoft Azure, Anthropic AI. You have local AI, which lets you import different types of closed source LMs as well as uh, you're allowed to incorporate other types of LMs that you wanna play with on the open source field. And you can also do that with LM Studio where they have integrated LM Studio as a desktop application that you can run easily to spin up an API server for chatting with open source models that are found on Hugging Face. This lets you use any sort of open source model that you want with anything LM. Anything LM also comes equipped with default embedding engines. And this is where it ensures your documents remain securely stored in your local machine or the server. This is a built-in feature that actually prioritizes the privacy and data security by keeping your documents completely secured and private in your designated environment. This is through the Anything LM default embedding. And we can see that they also went further by offering other support methods for a diverse range of embedding models. You have the open AI embedding model, you have Microsoft's Azure, as well as local AI. Whether you prefer the default engine or you can opt for a different embedding model, this is something that makes sure that you have the best suit of needs to provide a versatile and customizable experience. Another feature is the vector database. Anything LM is something that comes with a private built-in vector database. And this is something that is powered by Vance Lance database. Now, vector databases are something that function similarly to conventional databases, but are specifically optimized to store and retrieve data based off the embeddings that we worked with in the previous feature tab. Now, these databases come in various forms and each of them are basically tailored to different types of handling of vector-based information. Now, unlike typical databases, they rely on traditional indexing methods, but the vector database that they're actually using is designed to work seamlessly with embeddings. Now, they also have a lot of other different types of options. They have the pre-built one with Lens DV, but you also have Chroma, you have Quadrant, which is Quadrant, sorry. Uh, you have many others. Pinecone is also another good option. But in my opinion, the best one is Lens DV, and this is something that is already integrated with anything LLM. Like we mentioned at the start, you have multi-users or single users, which allows you to support various different types of roles within anything LLM. You have password protection, multi-user setup, API access and keys where you can integrate other APIs within anything LLM. And you also have a workspace chat log, which lets you track different types of chats from different users within anything LLM. You're also able to customize further with the appearance of anything LLM and like we mentioned at the start, this is an open source project which lets you work with other types of APIs, plugins, embeddings. So don't just be restricted to using all of these things over here, but you're also able to customize it further with your own extensive work on integrating different types of frameworks within anything LLM. The team behind Anything LM is uh, Miniplex Labs. And what they've done is that they made Anything LM hosted through Miniplex Labs. And this was through setting up individual instances like separate spaces. And they isolated Anything LM on a server which is hosted on Amazon Web Services. And they basically made sure that each of the instances is automatically updated and taken care of by Miniplex Labs core team. So your data and resources that are kept on anything LM is completely private and are not actually shared with any other customers. This is something that they stated on their own, not from my words. So just keep that in mind. Uh, I definitely see that the team is quite uh, trustable and definitely ensure that the interactions with anything LM are quite secure and exclusive for your own use. So just keep that in mind, but use it at your own discretion and obviously do your own research before you actually get into working with anything LM. Now, as I mentioned at the start, you can actually use this off of the cloud hosting that they have. If you go on their website, you can see that they charge different pricing plans. In this case, you can start off with the ideal for personal use. This is where you pay $25 a month. Then you have the $99 a month, which is 100 gigabytes of storage. In my opinion, I definitely think that you scrap all of these things. You don't need to pay money to use something like this. You can use something like private GPT, for example, if you do not have the capability to pay things like this, or if you don't have the hardware requirements. Another alternative is using Bionic GPT, which is completely free and open source, which lets you run it on the cloud. But in my opinion, 
I think the best option to using anything LM is using it through your own hardware where you have it hosted through that. Now there's a couple of requirements that you'll need. It's recommended that you have two gigabytes of RAM, at least for your system CPU. You need to make sure that you have a two core CPUs, if any, in terms of storage, it will require five gigabytes. Now you're also able to use different types of element LLMs, which will be hosted on your own computer. So you got to make sure that you're able to also host those off your local host in terms of the vector databases, as well as the embeddings, you're also going to need to configure and set that up on your own. These are the things that will be required to have it operational on your local host. Let us now take a look at anything LLM with this video demo. This will give us a better overview of it, but we can see that it has a simple and similar UI to ChatGPT. You first start off with this LLM preference page, which lets you choose with these three different types of LLMs. Now, just note that this is the these are the three LLMs that they actually provide with their cloud hosting. You're not able to work with open source models with their cloud hosting, which is why I recommended that you don't actually purchase it. You just simply have it locally hosted on your computer. That way you can run any sort of large language model that you want. Now, as you go on further, you're able to choose whatever database that you want, as well as other types of embeddings and plugins. This is something that you can integrate later on with the lo local hosting. Now, you're also able to set up a user mode setup, which is letting you have a multi-user mode. Now, we are also able to upload your files and it's something that looks really easy to set up and configure. It gives you a lot of options to customize it so that you can create different types of work spaces, look at different chat logs and do a lot of different things. It's a really, really simple, easy UI. So I definitely recommend that you check this out. But that concludes today's video on Anything LM. I hope you got some sort of idea as to what you can do with Anything LM. It's a private GPT alternative. So definitely check this out with all the links in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Make sure you check out World of AI on Twitter if you guys haven't already. Check out our Patreon page link, which will get you access to our private Discord. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.